Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, The Scientific Piano Teacher. My name is Fanny. Today I'm going to talk about the last element in this series, which is modern. Before we dive in, I want you to subscribe to our channel, The Scientific Piano Teacher, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. So, let's do it. So, what is a modern? Modern, this word was actually derived from a Latin word, which means to bite. So when we play modern, normally we play three notes. Um, say the note, the principal note is a C, then we play as fast as C D C, da da dum da da dum, or C B C, da da dum da da dum. So the one that I just sang. C B C da da dum, in which the principal note was higher than the labeling note. It was it is called a lower modern today, but in Baroque period, it was actually the modern that they refer to. The upper modern C D C da da dum, where the principal note was lower than the labeling note. It was called a upper modern today, or just a modern, but in the past during Baroque period, it was called a paltrula, that people refer it as a trio instead of a modern. I actually think this part of history is very well flowing, especially when you play some Baroque pieces. Knowing this part of history will really help you to interpret the elements. By not just uh reading the editorial suggestion, but you can create your own, or you can interpret your own element ornamentation to fit into the music. And now I'm going to show you this table, which is bar ornament bar ornament table, and uh, this table it has like from A to R. And smooth and so on. So it has a lot of different example of using the trio, a trio plus a turn, and then later a modern and etc. But just from looking at the from A to D, the A which is the normal trio. Again, to review this, a trio we will start our note to above the principal note. But sometimes.、Mm, If we look at C, which start which is with a lower prefix, that means we will start the note with a lower note, be I mean a note below the principal note. So particularly related to modern and to this topic today, is this the bottom section of the table from N to U. So the N is the paltrula and O is the modern. So when a This table we put it like next to each other that you can see very clearly, the the difference between a trio and modern. So the one difference is you will start your trio uh note above the principal note, while you will start on the principal note in a modern, and the modern here in this table is refer to refers to the lower modern. And from O to R, I want you to pay attention to the last one, which is R, that modern in and inner part. So which will happen, but it's not very common. But you might find some in Bach's Partita and Bach's Toccata, that you play the middle note at a a modern, but you will keep playing the outer notes a chord. And one other is. I think it's the most interest interesting one is the turn with the modern, which is U. So you play the turn side while you end with a modern. So instead of playing four notes, you play five notes. That's how I interpret it, and that's how I normally teach my student to think about number of notes. Sometimes, so modern, we normally have three notes. Turn, we have four notes. So um a modern plus a turn five notes yeah. 
But I have to clarify that um, since the 19th century, we uh, uh, all agree that the modern is refers to the upper moderns today. And we call the uh, lower moderns as lower modern or inverted modern. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. And this is probably the last video of our series, the Ottoman series. And so that means our next video will be something new. So stay tuned. And if you like our channel and like our video, please subscribe to our channel, The Scientific Piano Teacher, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And also, don't hesitate to send us any comments or questions. We love questions and we love hearing from you. Me and Anishka will continue to bring you more information about piano and piano pedagogy and anything about piano resources. So, see you again next time. Bye-bye.